Right off the top, we have two important stories about the impact of COVID here in North Texas. We're going to start with this decision that you've either made or maybe might still be debating whether or not to get the COVID vaccine shot. For women, our Robbie Owens learned that even surviving COVID might leave some still with reproductive consequences. While pushed to the breaking point battling the latest COVID surge. And it goes like wildfire on social media. People use it as an excuse, but there's no data to back it up. Doctors are also busy battling online myths and misinformation about the safety of the vaccine, especially as it relates to fertility, saying the more pressing concern should be COVID. And so the risk is certainly there that if you get too sick from COVID, you may not recover and your body may not be well enough to be um, ready to carry a pregnancy optimally. Doctors say the best insurance for future reproductive health is simply good health, and that includes women and men. We are seeing some some uh, short-term uh, information coming out of our reproductive endocrinologists, which are the OBGYNs that specialize in infertility, that in males, at least, that there is some uh, issue with sperm quality for, for months after having COVID, um, and also some issue with the uh, female side, too. Meanwhile, those warnings also come with reassurances for women who say their menstrual cycles are different post COVID. Sure. I mean, anytime you get a illness like this, there's stress on the body and then stress in general can affect on the female side, ovulation and those kind of things. So we're seeing uh, people with uh, post COVID or long COVID and we're seeing people with abnormal bleeding and those kind of issues. So pre-pregnancy, post-pregnancy, just surviving this pandemic, the best medicine experts say is still prevention. Yes, absolutely. There is no comparison. There is no comparison. The vaccine is potentially life-saving. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.